Well, I guess we back for another video. How you guys doing? No fab day six of ninety. Hope it gets out there busting them nuts. Cause I know it's been about six days since I've uh spilled that uh, seed or semen if you wanna call it. Uh yeah, how you guys doing? Back here again excitedly to make another video. Uh, day six. Uh about to be on day seven now with a week mark. Um I ain't gonna lie to you guys, uh you might get pissed, but um it's this Dunkin' Donuts bag next to me, and I'm sure you guys can only assume what's in there. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, it's probably not healthy to eat donuts. Well, it's not healthy at all, but um, fuck it, right? Um, do, uh, I mean, um, the only thing, like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good with my habits so far, except for meditation. Well, um, f f like certain, like now, I'm, you know, um, still put. I think six days, six days in a row. I think I believe it was five, five or six days in a row. Now I believe my, I think four days. I, I started doing it on, on my day two video. I believe, on, on like uh, on like um, four days ago. I'm um, leaving my phone and everything in the car. And again, um, uh, <laughs> seemingly so. Whenever I leave it in my car, I uh, leave it in my car. I get better sleep. Uh, um, also, I've been fantasizing a lot. I've been fantasizing a lot less than any other streak. Um. Actually, I, actually, even when I try to, uh, my brain, it's not like I don't even want to do it anymore. That's why, that's why I say I think, I think it's about to be the street, because whenever I try to fantasize about, like, a, um, a real girl, my mind just, like, I don't, I, I don't, it's like I don't even want to do it anymore. Which, I'm assuming that's a really good thing, because, um, obviously, um, it's, uh, when that's actually what woman that you can talk to, it's kind of a waste of time to actually fantasize when there's actually what woman out there, so that's a good thing. Um, I, I um, I, I have like a, I have like four four Spanish apps. Um, two of them it's like it's like a monthly fee to pay for. Um, I have like four of them, and it's, they take up a lot of space on my phone. Two of them, I think two of them, I think one of them is called Busu, and the other one's called Memorize, I think. And um, no, it's three of them that I, pay, I pay like a monthly fee for. Uh, and the other one is called uh, called um. I forgot the app, but that was a good apps. Um, but um, obviously, you know, it's no point of paying a monthly fee. I think altogether they're like almost thirty dollars a month. It's no point of paying a monthly fee if you're not gonna use the app apps. And so now, for the first time, uh, it's it's kind of, it's kind of, like, a, it's kind of like, a, like a like a fun challenge. By the way, one of my class, I think I said it before, one of my classes is already finished. Um, I, I got a B by the way, if you guys want to know. Um, a B minus to be specific, but who cares? I mean, hey, y'all don't even need, y'all don't even need to know all that. It's a B is a B. <laughs> who cares about the minus? Well, I guess it's kind of important to be if, if you factor in the uh, the points. But it's a B. I don't, it's a B. But um, by the way, I dropped that class last semester, so um, you know, it's kind of. I guess it's another important thing. I got to be in it this semester. Three classes left. Got A's and B's in those classes, so uh, it's a pretty cool semester, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Compared to last summer, well, <laughs> with some bullshit. But um, yeah, you guys. Um, uh, yeah. Um, so I got a lot more time to study my Spanish. Um, getting pretty serious about that. Um, so for the first time, I actually, I'm, I'm actually, I, I make it like a challenge. Like, so what I want is to um, well, right now, I have like, I have like, a, like two Spanish workbooks. I'm trying to like do like one lesson in each of those workbooks. Uh, and do all four of my apps. Uh, like do a lesson in all four of the apps. And also, there's a program called, that I use called like Rocket Spanish. Um, I try to do a lesson that like just it's like each lesson like it's like an audio lesson. Like you, you it's like an interactive lesson where you hear like the conversation, you repeat back, and then at the end you go down and do like different like uh, cards and like different like reinforcement exercises. And um, today's lesson was thirty minutes long. Damn, it's, it's, it took a long time. And uh. I went through all the flashcards, went through all the reinforcement lessons, like um, uh, the uh, listening lesson where well, you listen to it, the audio, again, you can type it in the, uh, the little box. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool, but um, it's like a little challenge. I'm trying to make sure I fit all that, and then what else? What else? Something else. Oh, yeah, and then I have to watch, like, a, it's, a, it's an episode of the Spanish TV show called Extra. Um, yeah, so um, it's, I'm trying to make it like a little, and that's the, I do that in the morning, so I'm trying to make like a little challenge that I have to fit all that in within a 24-hour time and time period. Um, and I'm trying to like just keep that going every day. No matter what, I have to, I have to, fit, I have to do all those activities in one day. I, and I also have to have an extra. I'm trying to make like two face to face lessons every day, 30 minutes each. That's an hour of like actual, actual, actual teacher. So um, I'm trying to make my day busy, bro. B busy guys. Um, also, getting back working out as well. So um, the only thing I have to do, another habit I have to work on is meditating and uh, well, other habits. Meditating and, uh, and um, and uh and uh, what else meditating and um eating healthy uh, i've been sacking up eating healthy and um actually cooking foods but i'm i'm trying to take one habit at a time i'm i'm getting my spanish done just two days in a row right here where i'm i did everything um 
And so um, t tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna start speaking to speaking to teachers again. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that twice a day. So it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of Spanish every day. I actually have 30 minutes left, so 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. So I have to really get, get I have to finish. I have two more apps to do lessons on that. So I'm gonna I get this video done early or quickly. But um, yeah, we, we, yeah, we're good on time. But yeah, damn, I'm I'm blabbering on. But um, the point of this is, the point of this video is uh like uh watching porn low key makes you a um uh, low key makes you like a um low key makes you a pervert. AKA a uh, what do you call the things? What do you call the people who watch? You know the, the people who like watching other people have sex, like the dudes to be watching their wives get like smashed by dudes. Like what, what do you call those dudes? What do you call those people again? I, I forgot. I forgot what you call it. But for, for the sake of me not knowing, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna call it. Um, let me see. I think you can. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna even do that. I, I think I think you call them like. Um, I'm, I'm gonna just call them peeping times. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, oh, cut. I think the word is, is I think the word is cucks. I think what you it's such a funny word, bro. The, the, the dudes who like I'm, I'm I apologize if I'm using it wrong, but um, the dudes who like watch dudes like sleep with women and they be in the corner like jacking off like trolls. I think like po I think porn low key makes you like like low key makes you like a pervert type of like dude. Not like low key, but high key. Cause you have to imagine. I said, man, just sit back and think about the addiction. Like when you really think about it, uh, whether whether people want to admit it or not, when you watching like another dude have sex with a woman. Um, and and you're like you, <laughs> when you watch another dude have sex with a woman, this is this this how this is why it's mental and why it really makes you insecure in real life. You you watch like another dude, um, you watch another dude smash a woman. That's that that's one thing, but you actually get turned on. You but you actually get turned on not by the dude, but you get turned on by what the dude is doing to the girl sexually. So if he's stroking the girl in a specific way, sorry for the uh, explicit uh, words, but if he's stroking the dude, <laughs> funny. If he's stroking a, a female in a specific, I mean, well, if, nah, let's move on. If he's stroking a, a, a girl in a specific way, um, and the girl's like reacting to the way he's like he's like he's uh, he's putting that hammer, he's putting that pipe down. Damn, this is some, this this is a uh, um. Pretty explicit. If, 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 when a girl's reacting the way to the, the to reacting how to how a girl a guy is like girl smashing, and the girl's reacting to it, she's like moaning or whatever, loud and whatever. That turns you on. That's what's supposed to because it's porn. And so when you watch another you know, dude penetrate a girl, and he's and the way he's talking, the way he's talking to her, and that, the way he's doing whatever, then that's turning you on. You have to think about it. So essentially, the dude not only is a girl um, cause you to bust in a quicker world. <laughs> The dude is too, sort of like that, whether you want me or not. Cause we don't, we don't just watch porn. Cause we don't just watch porn for the girl. I mean, well, we do, but like the way that if a dude's not like hitting it right, uh, we get, the way we do, we change videos because we, we, you want the girl to react a certain way. And so, um, we we really think about it from mental aspect. If you like, if you if you watch porn and, and the dude isn't like doing this or doing that or doing that or he's not being too aggressive, he's doing this or doing that. All that's kind of like really kind of weird when you think about it on the outside spectrum, because like that's that's what really goes into the um whole um being like an insecure. It makes you like a damn I, damn I hate this term term, but um <laughs> a better male. I hate that term, bro. So I don't know. So so uh kind of cheesy and overused, but for lack of a better phrase, um when you, when you do those activities, kind of makes you like a beta male of sorts, because like if you imagine. If you, uh, you jacking off to a dude, and like, uh, if a dude's not, the, the dude's like, um, saying like, the dude's, if, if, if the dude's not, if not like smashing the way you want, like the way that you want to, it's kind of, it's kind of like the dude, if the dude's not like, you know, doing whatever, like, he has to do, when dudes do specific activities in porn, like to the girl, and the girl, like the girl's reaction to what the dude's doing is kind of like turning you on, sort of like, you sort of like, you sort of like getting turned on by what the dude is doing, so it's like, it's kind of weird, like, in that sense, like, rather than you actually going out there in real life and getting real girls and actually, you know, having sex and having those experiences, you watch another dude do it to a girl, you and you're getting turned on by what the dude is doing to the girl sexually. So when you say, when people, when we as guys say things like, damn, I got, in our minds, like, damn, damn, this dude, I got, I got to change the point, I got to turn the scene, this dude's not, <laughs> like, even if you read the porn comments, which is the funniest thing on TV or on, you know, your screen, because... If you if you if you if you ever in a bad mood, um, watch look at the porn comments because them dudes be saying some funny shit. Um, it, def, it definitely makes definitely cheers up the fact that that, that you're relapsing when you scroll down to the porn comments and you see and you see like a funny ass comment, it just makes you kind of like chuckle. Kind of awkward when you got your penis in your hand and you read the comments. Let's move on. But um, you be seeing dudes say, "Damn, this dude can't, this dude can't, this dude can't hit it right. This dude's not doing this right." And when you think about it, 
it's just for a mental standpoint, it's like you're really judging the fact that another man isn't hitting it the way you want it to. So it's kind of like you're watching him t like penetrate another girl, and in your mind you're saying it's not like he's not doing it right. Or if the girl, or if he's doing it right <laughs> in your mind, and the girl's like moaning loud or whatever, and she's doing, she's rapping and it's turning you on. The dude's low key making it. So I guess you have to say the dude's turning you on. I guess I mean. So when you think about it from that point, it's kind of weird, you know, and that's why I really think it really makes you more insecure in public around, like, you know, more around girls because, like, around dudes, you can't really look people in the eye because how perverted, like, the addiction kind of is. So that's why it's, it's very important to actually, like, make real, real, in connection with women yourself. That's just one of the many reasons how porn um, really just makes, just destroys your confidence and really makes you a quote-unquote beta male because you're watching another dude smash a woman and... You actually change the scene if a dude is not hitting it correctly because it's you, you do he the woman's not reacting the way you want him to the well hard to react from the dude. So let me let me guys know, let me know what you guys think about that because um it really does fuck with you mentally when it, when when you, when you think about it. But um yeah, I'll see you guys soon for day eight and as always, don't relapse.